By spring 1945, it became clear that only a miracle could save Japan from defeat in World War II. The land of the rising sun had lost virtually all its naval and air forces, and US troops were already landing on the Japanese islands. On the morning of April 6, Japan's legendary battleship Yamato sailed off to fight her last battle. The last bit of hope the Japanese possessed rested with this steel giant, the largest and most powerful battleship of the time. The history of battleship Yamato began 10 years before the ship's legendary last mission. In October 1935, Japanese engineers put together a first draft of the famous naval giant. Unlike the Americans, whose ships were limited to a size that could pass through the Panama Canal, nothing restricted the Japanese from building ships of a large size in displacement and arming them as heavily as possible. Japanese designers set out to make battleships powerful enough to outmatch all existing foreign counterparts and any ships that would be built in the upcoming years. The production facilities behind me were the Kurei Naval Arsenal in those days. Its dockyard saw the birth of battleship Yamato. Her keel was laid in 1937 and the ship was completed 1941. Yamato was the heaviest battleship in the world. Back then, the total construction expenses amounted to 130 million yen. That would be over 1 trillion yen, 8 billion dollars in today's prices. Initially, Japan planned to build a total of four Yamato-class ships. However, the Pacific War began, and after completing the second ship, Musashi, Japan stopped building the third ship, Shinano, and never started the fourth one. Eventually, Shinano was converted to an aircraft carrier. Yamato is the ancient name for Japan, meaning Great Harmony. Strict secrecy was maintained throughout her construction. A high fence of mats surrounded the dockyard. All engineers swore a solemn oath of non-disclosure, and the workers going in and out were compared with their photos. Japanese shipbuilders certainly had something big to hide. Total displacement, 72,808 tons. Length, 263 meters. Beam, 38.9 meters. Draft, over 10 meters. Armament, main battery. Three turrets, each having 40 SK Mod 94 guns. Caliber, 460 millimeters. Secondary battery. Two turrets, each having three Type 3 guns. Calibre, 155 millimeters. Anti-aircraft artillery, 12 Coxile Type 89 guns. Calibre, 127 millimeters. 50 triple barrel and two single barrel Type 96 automatic cannons. Calibre, 25 millimeters. Air group, seven seaplanes, reconnaissance planes and spotting aircraft. Armor. Main belt, 270 to 410 millimeters. Main turrets, 190 to 650 millimeters. Conning tower, 300 to 500 millimeters. Power plant, four Campon turbines and 12 Campon RO boilers. Power, 154,000 shaft horsepower. Maximum speed, over 27 knots. Operational range, 7,200 nautical miles at 16 knots. Yamato's key features are her main turrets, each having three 460 millimeter guns. The guns could fire shells weighing almost 1.5 tons with a muzzle speed of 790 meters per second. 
A gun turret, including the barbette, weighed 3,000 tons. It could contain over 150 men. The ship's secondary battery consisted of two turrets, each having 355 mm guns. The guns featured excellent ballistic characteristics and could penetrate the armor of a typical cruiser. However, their rate of fire was pretty low. When commissioned, Yamato had six Koksail 127 mm anti-aircraft guns for long-range engagement plus short-range anti-aircraft artillery consisted of eight triple-barrel 25mm cannons. The number of the AA guns was constantly built up during the war. The 127mm anti-aircraft guns and the 25mm guns had different ranges of fire. So if an enemy aircraft flew into this gap, neither of the guns was able to effectively intercept it. Furthermore, the 127mm guns had relatively low traverse speed and poor elevation and depression characteristics. They also failed to fire at the declared rate of 14 rounds per minute if the elevation was high or low. Yamato enjoyed the heaviest armor in shipbuilding history. Its U.S. analog, battleship Iowa, had armor that was on average 100 millimeters thinner. The armor belt of the Japanese giant formed a citadel that covered slightly over half of her waterline length. The most protected part was the ship's conning tower. In 1945, World War II reached Japan's home islands. The command of the Japanese combined fleet made a Bushido-style decision. Yamato, with the help of a light cruiser and eight destroyers, was to defend the island of Okinawa and prevent the U.S. troops from getting any further inland, or fight to the end and finish her journey gloriously. Executing this order on April 6, 1945, the legendary Japanese battleship sailed off to fight her last battle. The United States sent in its Task Force 58 to intercept the flagship of the Japanese Combined Fleet. The Americans would not miss the chance to destroy the symbol of Japan's naval power. As early as 10 a.m., the first U.S. squadrons took off from five heavy and four light aircraft carriers, located about 300 miles away from Yamato. A total of 227 aircraft took part in the destruction of the Japanese force. The battle began at 12.34. Four aerial bombs hit Yamato, taking out a 127mm gun and several automatic cannons. In just 20 minutes, two more bombs struck the battleship and a torpedo hit her port side. In response, Yamato fired her anti-aircraft weapons. In 1402, the Americans launched the last attack on the wounded, but still combat-capable Yamato. It was a demonstrative execution. Four torpedoes, three to the port side and one to the starboard side, destroyed the ship's damaged control center. Yamato stopped moving and started listing to port more and more every minute. And when this huge ship capsized, a monstrous explosion erupted. The pride and hope of the Japanese fleet went under. Together with the ship, 3,000 crew members were lost including the commanders of the Japanese force and the ship. For the Japanese, Yamato still remains a symbol of the nation's might that fell in battle like a true samurai. The city where the legendary battleship was built opened a museum 
whose centerpiece is a 26-meter model of Yamato. It is true that Yamato had a number of drawbacks, like her sister ship, Musashi. The battleship was sunk as a result of airstrikes. The key reason for that was the ship's fundamental lack of ability to resist massive air attacks. Yamato remains the largest and most powerful battleship in history. For every person who takes interest in the history of military ships, Yamato embodies military might. Born to terrify and crush enemies, this formidable steel giant managed to glorify her name even as she was defeated. She represented a pinnacle in large battleship design, one that will probably never be surpassed. And in that sense, Yamato will always remain a symbol and a legend.